Hi, and welcome to my lesson on turning fractions into decimals using long division. And this is level one, so we're going to start easy. And I'm going to start with the problem three-fourths. And this three-fourths, the top number is called the, the dividend, and the other one is called the divisor. So those are the official names for those numbers. However, I don't really use those names much. I look at this as cowboy and horse. Not as technical, but it helps me out a lot. The cowboy rides on top of the horse. And I use this to know who goes where in my long division. The cowboy sleeps inside and the horse sleeps outside. Okay, so I've turned my fraction into a long division problem. But now the details of that. So when I divide this, I have to think, well, how many times does 4 go into 3? And I have a multiplication chart here. 4, the smallest number in this is 4. It looks like 3 is too small. So 3 is too small. That's going to be a 0. Okay, now I add a decimal because I'm going to turn this, the whole thing is fractions to decimals. So I'm going to turn this into a decimal and I add a 0. Now how many times does 4 go into 30? Aha, 4. I want to get as close to 30 without going over. That's over. And right there, 7 times. 7 times, that gets me to 28. So, 7 times, it's 28. And I subtract, that's 2. And now, what I have to do is I have to compare now. When I'm done subtracting, the result needs to be smaller than my divisor or my horse. That always has to be smaller. If that is bigger, say that's five or six, then I need to change that number. So uh, that that's smaller than four, I'm good. But I still have a remainder. So I'm gonna add a zero. Zero. Four goes into 20. Oh, four, let's see, four goes into 20. Oh, it goes exactly five times. So, 4 goes into 25 times, and that is exactly 20. And the result, the remainder is 0. I'm done now. That's it. So, 3 fourths as a fraction is equal to 0 0.75. And uh, we call 3 fourths 3 quarters, and 3 quarters is 75 cents. So, that should be a little light bulb moment. I'm going to do this one here. Uh, uh, six eights cowboy six horse eight so cowboy sleeps inside horse sleeps outside eight does not go into six six so when I look at the multiples of eight eight times one is eight so yep too small so that's gonna be a zero and I'll put a decimal because I need more. And I put that decimal straight up there. Now, 8 going into 60. 8 going into 60. 8 going into 60. Let's see. 64 is too high. 56. That's under 60. But how about I choose something that's wrong, like 48. 48 is smaller than 60. And 48 is 8 times 6. So if I, now this is going to be wrong. I'm going to show you here. 8 times 6 is 48. And when I subtract, this is going to be what? 2. 10 minus 8 is 2. And that drops down 1. 5 minus 4 is uh, 1. Aha. Now I have to check. 12. 12 is bigger than 8. That means this is the wrong number. I have to change that. So I have to change this, which means all this needs to get erased. Uh, let me rewrite this here. So, it's okay. I just write 6. I was at 60. And, okay, let me check this again. 8. Oh, yeah, I could go closer. 56. And that is 7 times. So, 8 times 7 is 56. Okay. Now, subtract. That's 4. And that's it. And 4 is smaller than 8. I'm on the right track. But I still have a remainder. So I add another zero. Zero. Eight goes into 40. Eight goes into 40. Eight goes in uh, exactly five times right there. So it's five times. Wait a minute. 
I've seen this before. 0.75 and three fourths was 0.75, or I should say 75 hundredths, right? Hey, look at that. So if you've ever heard that three fourths is equal to six eighths, here's another case. They both, when you divide them, you get the same decimal right there. And look at this: four times two is eight, and three times two is six. So if you double both of these, they end up with the same ratio. That's why the fractions are equal. Light bulb moment. Okay, next. Three fifths. Three fifths. So we have cowboy three, horse five. And now, will five go into three? No. Five won't go into three. Three is too small. So I put a zero. Put a decimal. Now I need to make this number bigger. 30. Will five go into 30? Five goes into 30. Oh, exactly six times. Super goes in exactly six times so I'll put a six and that is 30 and it looks like I'm gonna be done the remainder is zero I'm done so it equals 0 0.6 or six tenths okay I got another one one third uh, so cowboy horse three goes into one now by now we should see that uh, uh, three goes into three. It won't go into one. It, it, if that number's smaller than that number, then you just put a zero down. So uh, zero and uh, decimal point. Boom. Uh, three goes into ten now. Three times that's nine. Three times three is nine, as we know here from our okay. And uh, ten minus nine is one. And I have a remainder, so I got to keep going. Bring that down. Ten. Hey, I've seen this before. I just used three. So that's going to be nine again. Three times three is nine. Subtract. Wait a minute. This keeps on being one. This keeps on being three. This is called a repeating decimal. And so this is 0 0.33. Oh, or uh, repeating. Or actually what I should write is... 0 0.3 repeating okay let's go with a longer long division one last one here where I will have let's go crazy let's go with 2132 divided by 4 okay cowboy 2132 4 okay uh, four goes into two. Mm, no, four won't go into two. Two is too small. Zero. I have no decimals on this one. Just strictly long division here. Four going into twenty-one. Uh, well, four goes into twenty-one without going over five times. That's twenty. Subtract one. Bring down the three. Four goes into 13. And by the way, I know I'm on the right track here because one is smaller than four. Okay, so I'll bring down the three. And four goes into 13. Well, let's see. Four goes into 13. Well, that's 16 is too big. So 12 right here, three. So that's three. Four times three is 12. Subtract one. Bring down the two. Oh, and the one is smaller than the four. Great. Bring down the two. Four goes into 12. I think we know maybe four goes into 12 three times right there. Super. Three. And that is exactly 12. And our, and our remainder is zero. So it equals exactly 533. And that's what you got to know about division, long division, and those details and turning those fractions into decimals. Thanks for watching.